Welcoming to the Kiss 92.5 Studios, Twitter, Facebook, our phone lines were going crazy since we got the news that you were going to be here. The one and only Miss mm-hmm. Demi Lovato. Welcome. How are you? Good. How are you? What's Thank you. On? Nothing. No. Just hanging out. Yeah, you look good for this early in the morning. Oh, thank you. What time did you get up to do all this? I got up at 5, but then I didn't get out of bed till 5.50. What time does makeup show up? They were there at like 545. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, I rolled out of bed. Yeah. How's it been going so far? I'm um, doing press for the record. Good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really good. How long has it been out now? About three weeks. You happy with it still or you wish you could go back and make some changes? No, I'm still really happy with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a ha- when, Do you know when to let go of something? Yeah. Do you know when something's done? Do you have that yeah. ability? Really? Yeah, I know when something's done. Wow. Yeah. I got to tell you, the song on the record, um, All Night Long with Timbaland and Missy. Yes. That's my favorite song on the album. Oh, cool. Thank Hands you. Hands down, favorite, favorite record. Cool. Um, so is it true that, that Missy, I guess originally she wasn't supposed to be on the on the single when you guys got together to, to do the record when you and Timberland were in the studio and she was just there and just hopped on the mic? Yeah, well, she was there and um, she I, um, I went to go take a picture with her. And um, I was like, well, why don't you come over and listen to some stuff? And she was like, okay. So she came over to hang out and just listen to some music. And she heard all night long. And she was like, wow, you know, um, can I can I get on that? And I just was like, um, yeah, of course. I'm not going to say no to you. Well, <laughs> well, it's sort of my song. It. Yeah, let me I'm, think I'm about it. I'm kind of holding out for like Little Wayne or Drake or someone. But I guess you're okay. So I was totally stoked. And um, yeah, so I said yes. And it happened like um, with uh, with something like this, when you go into to make a record, um, the, the, I guess the saying is, you know, bad years make great music, mm-hmm. right? Uh, with the reaction from the fans so far, listening to that, identifying with what you've done, have you just been hearing story after story after story from people who identify either what you went through or the the content that you put on the record? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I've been hearing so many fans that that tell me their stories, um, you know, because of you. Having the courage to speak up about your issues, I now have the courage to tell my parents, you know, that I need to get help for my eating disorder or my cutting or yeah. any issues that, you know, that I, that they're dealing with. And it's really been inspiring. It's It's been a, just a dream come true to have that many people tell me that I'm inspiring them like that. Uh, the question we get a lot, because you and I and Mocha share a lot of the same audience, and the one question that we get a lot is... It's not when do you ask for help, it's how do you ask for help. Right. Um, sorry, I have something in my it's eye. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like stabbing my eye over here. I'm like, here, I look um, Yeah, it's when do you ask for help. Um, I think that there's a turning point um, in everyone's life when they realize that they're not themselves and they've kind of hit a wall. And yeah. there, you know, there's been, there had been times where I definitely knew I needed help. Um, I just didn't know how to ask for it. And when I got help, I kind of had my parents, you know, tell me. It was like an intervention. Like, you need to get help. So I I didn't really ask for it. They kind of came to me and were like, hey, you're kind of screwed up. (laughs) Like, go get help. (laughs) In in nicer words, of course. And have all the relationships in your life been stronger since then? With your parents, with your fans, with, you know, people that work with you, everything else? Yes, definitely. Every, Every relationship that I have in my life is so much stronger. And friendships, everything. Nice. And if if they're if they're not stronger, it's because they're not in my life anymore. Perfect. And, and what was that feeling like once once everything was over uh, and you came back and you're ready to write music and you see the reaction from your fans and from other stars like all over Twitter? I mean, Timberland did that video for you where he really really wanted you. He wrote a song. He handpicked beats strictly for you, and you're getting all this 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 great support from everybody right around the world. Um, It just was amazing. You know, I look up to those artists that reached out to me over Twitter, like Katy Perry and and Kelly Clarkson. Those are two people that, you know, I look up to and Mm -hmm. that I admire as artists. And I just was, like, so blown away when they tweeted me. And I just was like, oh, my God, this is the coolest (laughs) thing ever. (laughs) So, you know, when that that happened, um, I just was so excited and ecstatic. Um, It just was awesome. Yeah. It's uh, 737. It's the Raza Mocha Show on KISS 92.5. Demi Lovato is joining us with us right now. And you're getting ready to uh, to hit the road. You're doing a, a big tour coming yes. up soon, right? Any Canadian dates yet? I've only seen uh, some U.S. dates that, that have been set. Just U.S. dates for right now. Um, yeah. But hopefully at the 
next year um, there'll be a world tour and um, maybe, maybe we'll see some <laughs> Canadian dates. Yeah, because as you know, <laughs> and again, if you check Twitter, you have a lot of Canadian fans, especially in Toronto. I like, do. Your, your Demi Lovato Toronto fans in Toronto is insane. shows me some mad love. Yeah. I love Toronto. And of course, the album is called Unbroken in stores right now. Were you shocked by how quickly your single Skyscraper uh, just took off? Yeah, I was so excited. Um, I remember watching it the night before, and it was like at, at 184 or something like that on the top 200. And I yeah. was like, oh, cool, it's already in the top 200. And then all of a sudden, I wake up the next day, and it's number one. And I'm like, whoa, wait. <laughs> I was cool with it being 184. <laughs> and then it was number one on iTunes. I was like, whoa, cool. Awesome. Demi Lovato, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, hang out on the show today. Thank you so much and, for having uh, me. Before we let you go, anything you want to say your, to your Toronto fans? Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for being so sweet to me while I visited. And I can't wait to see you all again. Awesome. Demi Lovato, this is her single, Skyscraper. It's Toronto's number one hit music station, Kiss 92.5. Good morning. You got the Raza Mocha Show. Skies are crying.